Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. And it's Sideburn from the original Robots in Disguise Transformers series, um, or in the Japanese, Car Robots. Um, yeah, I thought I would do this today. I've actually been sitting on this figure for a minute. Um, I got this figure from a guy named Carl, um, aka Boomer, off the Cybertron Cafe. Um, I bought a lot of figures um, off of them, and this was one of them. And the reason I got this, uh, I really enjoyed the Transformers from the Transformers Robots in Disguise line. Unfortunately, uh, I lost them in a move. Um, I actually had the entire set. It was the only time I had a complete set of Transformers in a series. Uh, my ex-wife had purchased them for me for my birthday. Ironically, today is my birthday, so I thought I would go back and review this figure, which was one of my favorites out of that line. Um, so, yes, uh, the, in, I really did enjoy the line. I did. Um, the cartoon was so-so. It wasn't all that great. But the toys were really well done, and this marked a new era in the articulation, the design, uh, and just the look of Transformers. This series was a leap forward in the uh, much cooler... Uh, designs of Transformers, I think, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I just really think they were really well done. They looked good. The vehicle modes were superb. I mean, uh, he is obviously a Dodge Viper. Um, I love Dodge Vipers. Uh, I would love to get one one day. Um, and he's kind of a hot rod-like character. Um, Sideburn was one of the three Autobot brothers. Uh, there was Sideburn, there was Prowl, and then there was x -Bron. Prowl was a police car, and then x bron was uh, kind of an SUV. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's pretty cool. I really like him. I think the design looks good. It looks like a model kit car. It really does. Um, the blue is gorgeous. I love the kind of metallic blue flame job they got on the hood. Um, highlighted in the white, it just really pops off of this uh, figure. And this would look really nice of an actual Dodge Viper. I think it would look really cool. I love the red chrome and the chrome motor on the vehicle. I think that looks fantastic. Um, and that's the first time we started getting that kind of stuff uh, that actually didn't chip off like the Beast Wars figures. Of course, we got it in Beast Wars, but uh, a lot of that would flake off. And this is held up greatly. Um, the detail on the headlights. I love the pattern, the check pattern in there. You've got the vents on the hood. Um, we got this wonderful detailing back here. Just absolutely superb. The wheels are rubber like the old G1 uh, figures, uh, which was really, really nice. And we've got the chrome uh, wheels on the side. The taillights, not only do they have the taillights, but they're plastic, they're translucent plastic both tail and reverse lights. We don't get that quality today, which is a damn shame. Um, I wish this had a bumper uh, or a, uh, a sticker for the license plate. There probably is one by uh, uh, Repro Labels. They, they probably have one, but that would look really, really nice. Um, we've got this beautiful Autobot logo there, and of course we have one uh, embossed in the uh, back of the vehicle. That's going to be his... Uh, and seen in his robot mode. Uh, the bottom of the vehicle it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's obviously not a car, but it's not too much robot kibble hanging, which is really, really nice. And of course, his tailpipe becomes the uh, missile uh, for his weapon, uh, which is really, really cool. So all in all, I mean, this vehicle mode is phenomenal. I love the translucent uh, yellow plastic uh, for the windows, and it matches the headlights up front. Um, very cool, and we even get um, detailing on the fog lamps and on the grill. I mean, quality-wise, you don't see that in a deluxe figure today. Absolutely not. There was also another variation of Sideburn where he was red and he uh, red and gold, and he looked more like Hot Rod, which this was kind of the new generation of Hot Rod. I never cared much for the name. I understand Sideburn, we're you know, on a, like street side, side street, burning rubber, I guess. But it always made me think of like sideburns on a guy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, never been a fan of that. So um, there has been a sideburn scent. Let's zoom out a little bit and compare. So this is the current version of Sideburn, which is a repaint of Hot Rod. 
not surprising. Um, but it's got the same color scheme. It's got the same flame job up here. It's outlined. Um, this is kind of a painted metallic blue in comparison to the body, which is a much darker blue. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more here. Um, and it's not a bad repaint. It's a nice homage to this character. Um, we get the big Autobot logo on the top, just like we do over here. We have the red and uh, silver uh, motor on top like we do here. However, it doesn't have the chrome like this one does. In fact, everything about this figure is just much flatter in color compared to this one. Um, but it does have the yellow headlights, which is nice, and it's got the translucent yellow win windows, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, side views of the two figures. Again, a really nice homage. Uh, we've got the uh, silver wheels and black tires uh, and the flame job going down the door. I mean, they, they did a good job uh, emulating the paint scheme on it. The major difference, I think, um, is the, the spoiler on the back. Uh, I mean, that just does not exist on the Dodge Viper. And I don't know, it's okay, it's not bad, um, but maybe they could have just removed it um, or put something else on the back. Maybe a clip that made it look more round in the back, like the Dodge Vipers spoiler, I don't know. Um, the other funny thing is, just kind of an offshoot notice, I think it's just by happenstance, uh, both vehicles, the missile turns into a rear piece coming off the back of the car. This one, a uh, you know a, a muffler, I guess, that's supposed to be a tailpipe. And then, of course, you've got the turbine jet engine on the back of the Collector's Club version. So yeah, pretty darn cool. Um, which figure is better, to be honest? Um, I think this one is. I think this is the better figure. It's just a better built figure. Uh, I like the Hot Rod figure, and the reason I got this figure was to go with uh, my um, uh, fan's uh, protector armor, the Shadow Set, uh, because I think it would look pretty cool. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, otherwise I would never have bought it. Uh, it was just for that. So, yeah, definitely cool stuff. Let's take uh, a look at Sideburn in his robot mode and see what we think of that. All right, so here we have Sideburn in his robot mode. And, I mean, he does look good. It's funny, um, the vehicles were sculpted so well, but the robots really still, at this stage, reminded me of the old Beast Wars figures. It just has that similar kind of design. Uh, so we haven't advanced away from that stage from Beast Wars yet. So it's kind of an interesting hybrid. Uh, but the robot looks pretty good. He's kind of thin. Um, kind of a close-up real quick. Um, I like the head sculpt. This is where Hot Shot comes for me. I think later on in the Armada series, uh, this is really where Hot Shot comes from. I like the um, translucent yellow hanging down over his eye. Um, I mean, he looks good, and uh, they really emulate that yellow because you got the, the piece up over his other eye there that emulates uh, really well in the uh, reissue figure. I love the chrome Autobot logo on the forearm. I think that looks really cool. Uh, just really nice detail all around. Of course, his rear bumper becomes a crossbow, which is nice. And then um, the roof of his car becomes a shield. Um, and you can take that off if you really wanted to. But overall, I mean, he's he's pretty decent. Now, like a lot of the Beast Wars figures, you get a lot of hang off on the back of the piece. You got the front bumper just on the shoulder, and then the back of the car. You just kind of have to fan dangle to get uh, to look halfway decent. And that's kind of always the way I've put it up, kind of folded it back, butterfly it so that, um, you know, it's pretty much out of the way of the figure. Now, transformation is very impressive on it. Um, it's not difficult, but it's pretty clever. That is for sure. I really do like it. Here he is next to his um, counterpart. Um, from Transformers Collectors Club. And again, you can see a lot of the emulation between uh, from this figure to this figure. Uh, we've got the engine on the top. Uh, the bottom piece down here, we both have the red dots uh, on the cod piece. We have the Autobot logo on that forearm, which is really, really cool. Uh, this one just happens to be very, very tiny. Uh, but I totally forgot about that until I transformed. I'm like, that's right, he had an Autobot logo on his left arm. Um, 
even you know the 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 cod piece on both even the paint job on the legs themselves where you've got kind of the white bits on the shins here and here the darker blue on the upper shins total white uh, uh legs there and then light blue down on the feet for here and then there are paint apps at the bottom of this figure for the light blue to emulate uh down there so i i thought that was really really cool um the only thing this one is missing really is the shield um, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, overall he looks really cool. Um, it's definitely, I think this is definitely a figure to have in the collection just because it's a Dodge Viper and those are always awesome. Um, I really wouldn't mind this figure remolded as a Mirage. Uh, maybe get another use out of it and put a Mirage head on it. I think that would be pretty darn awesome. So there he is, Sideburn from Transformers Robots in Disguise. Not to be confused with the 2015 version coming out next year, but the original R.I.D. series. So thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future.